Good morning children. Today I make you understand chapter 1 of our English course book named The River Bank. This story is adapted from The Wind in the Willows written by Kenneth Grant. So first I will read the para and then I will make you understand. Now The moon had been working very hard all morning cleaning his little home till he had dust in his throat and eyes and splashes of white wash all over his black fur In this story there are two characters the moon and the water rat so the story has started with the animal the moon and he he is living in a small his home is little it is he is a very little animal and his uh, home is also very little so he is doing his home clean and he is working throughout the morning and until he the dust in his throat and eyes and splashes of white wash all over his black fur while doing the cleaning all the dust was entering into the throat and on his black fur spring was moving in the air above and in the earth below and round him penetrating penetrating even his dark and lowly little house it was small wonder that he suddenly flung down his brush said no more cleaning and made for the steep little tunnel which took him to the surface of the land so he scrubbed and scratched and scrabbled till at last with a pop his knot came into the sunlight and he found himself rolling in the warm grass of a great meadow the air was moving in the earth below and around him means the air is entering into his house and penetrating penetrating means what coming through the air was coming through even his dark and lowly little house though his house was very little then also the air was entering into his house it was small wonder that he suddenly flung down his brush he was throughout the morning he was cleaning his house and when the air is coming again the dust is entering into his little house so he got irritated and uh, he what he did he flung down his brush flung means he threw the brush and said no more cleaning no i will not do cleaning i will stop and made for the steep little il tunnel tunnel means it is a, a way out of a uh, out of the ground a small channel and he moved out he moved towards the surface of the land means under the ground he is living so he scrubbed and scratch scrub means what cleaned by rubbing with something sharp he rubbed via his back with a sharp pins a uh, thing and scratched and scrabble scrabble means what moves hand and feet about quickly means very fast he moved up until at last with a pop his snout came out into the sunlight he when he stopped he stopped until his snout came uh, on uh, on the uh, land into the sunlight and he found himself where he found that rolling in the warm grass of a great meadow it was a grassland and he was rolling and at the, then he stopped he thought his happiness was complete when suddenly he stood by the edge of a full fed river never in his life had he seen a river before and the moon was delighted by the side of the river he trotted as one trots when very small by the side of a man who holds one fascinated with exciting stories and when tried at last he sat on the bank and looked across the river now when he saw the grassland he was very happy 
and suddenly where he came that at the edge of the river means at the bank of the river he came and stood he was very happy he feel very happy why because he had never seen the river in his lifetime this was the first time he saw the river he was delighted means happy by the side of the river he trotted trotted means moved with fast bouncy step he jumped uh, when he saw the river as a, as a small kid trots when very small you were small you also trotted when you were very happy isn't it by the side of a man who holds one fascinated with exciting stories fascinated means charmed how uh, how the a small boy when a man is holding when a man hold a fascinated exciting stories if the stories are there in his hand and if you want it you trot in the same manner here the mole also trots when tried at last he sat on the bank and he tired when after jumping a lot after trotting he was tired and he sat on the bank and looked across the river and he was looking very silently why because he was tired a dark hole in the bank opposite just before the water's edge caught his eye and dreamily he considered what a nice and cozy dwelling it would make for an animal with few wants and fond of a riverside residence as he guessed something bright and small seemed to twinkle around down in the heart of the hole like a tiny star a brown little face with whiskers small neat ears and thick silky hair now there was a hole dark hole in the bank of opposite side just above the water edge where was the water is there and just above it there was a dark hole that uh, part has a focused him he caught he noticed that there is a dark hole in the opposite uh, side of the bank and dreamily he considered what a nice and cozy dwelling it would make for an animal with few wants and those who are staying near the water bank really they are very lucky and they are fond of the riverside residents and they love to he also love to uh, stay live uh, uh, of a riverside so like that those who are staying near the river said they are also very lucky as he gazed something bright and small seemed twinkle uh, in the heart of the hole heart of the hole means what at the center now at the center of the hole he noticed he gazed something white bright and small thing he it twinkles like a star so what he noticed a brown little face the face was brown and it was little with whiskers whiskers means much small neat and ears the ears are small and thick silky hair how was the fur silky hair means fur of that animal and notice it it was the water rat hello mole said the water rat would you like to come over now mole said hello hello mole what is that said he when he noticed that mole is there so initiate he took, took the initiative and said hello mole would you like to come over here you want to come the rat then lightly stepped into a little boat rowed smartly across and made fast then he held up his four paw as the mole stepped gingerly down and found himself actually seated in the stern of a real boat now what is mean by made fast made fast means moved quickly gingerly means carefully and stern means a back part of a ship now when the rat then lightly stepped in a little boat the rat had a boat and he stepped slowly into that little boat and he rowed very smart smartly across and made fast he want to move quickly he want to go fast near the mole so the rat uh, rowed it quickly 
then he held up his fore paw as the mole stepped gingerly and he hold the um, paw of the mole and he t uh, told that slowly and to quick carefully he stepped down into the boat and found himself actually seated in the stern of a real boat and he make sure that he should sit uh, in the boat in that ship very carefully do you know said mole as the ray rat showed up showed now ratted uh, ra uh, mole is saying do you know uh, said mole as the rat showed off showed off means he started rowing the boat i have never been in a boat before in all my life and he's sharing his experience that first time i am sitting in the boat do you know it and i have never seen the water i have never sat in the boat before this what cried the rat open mouth believe me then when he said that i have never uh, sat in the boat so the rat was very uh, you know, that what you say the rat was very surprised what he said and he, the mouth was open means he was not uh, believing that uh, how he can not sit sit in the boat how this is the first time so he was very much surprised so mole is saying believe me my young friend there is nothing absolute nothing half so much worth doing as simply messing about in boat simply messing look here if you have really nothing else on hand in this morning we can drop down the river together and spend a long day on it i have pickle gherkin salad french roll crepes sandwiches lemonade soda water so he said really if you are sitting in first time that don't worry we will whole day we will row in the boat in, in the river only i have lot of things to eat there is no need to worry so he counted what he had pickle gherkin salad french rolls crepes he crepes means what an eatable plant with leaves sandwiches lemonade soda water and he was saying and the, the mole was listening to him oh stop 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 said mole with a great excitement it really it was a great treat for the mole this is so new to me he was saying that what you are telling me about the eatable things they are not familiar to me i don't know these things these are really new thing for me so this is a reward so he saying so this is a river so the rat corrected not a river the river why he said the river means he is telling that i live on it and in it i am living on the water and in the water it's brother and sister to me the river is my brother and my sister and my food and drink and naturally washing is saying that river is everything for me so it is not a river the river it's my world and i don't want any other and in my world i don't want any other i don't want to interrupt me if anyone comes then i don't lie then watching to some time the mole asks and the mole asks what lies over there weaving a paw towards the background of woodland he was pointing out that area that's oh that just the wild wood wild wood means forest said the rat shortly wild wood we don't go there very much we are not going to that side we uh, river bankers weasel stoats foxes and so on live in the wild wood is saying that we are not supposed to go there because there are living weasels stoats and foxes these animals are living in that wood they are all right in a way but well you can't really trust them and that's the fact 
and we can't trust these animals where that when they are going to eat us so we can't trust and this is the fact and beyond the wild wood again as the mole and then after that wild wood what is there well it's it's all blue and dim and one sees what may be hills or perhaps they may not be and something like the smoke of towns or it is only a cloud i am not sure what is there behind the wild wood but something blue and something dim and one can see some may sometimes maybe see hills or perhaps they may not be i am not sure what is exactly there behind the wild wood and something like the smoke of town sometimes the smoke is also coming or it is only a cloud i am not sure about it i am not sure i can't tell you what is there behind the wild wood beyond the wild wood comes the wild wood said the rat means mole asked that what is there something blue is there something dim is there and one seems sometimes hill is also there sometimes smoke is also there i am not sure what it is so the rat is explaining that behind the wild wood there is a wide world and that's something that doesn't matter either to you or me and we are not going to interfere that what is it you you also will not ask and i will also not tell you you don't ask me this again i have never been there i have never gone there so i don't know and i am never going nor will you i will not go there and you also will not go there it means the water rat is warning to mole if you have got any sense at all if you are understood if you as uh, if you can know what it is so better you should not go there don't ever refer to it again please and he saying please don't ask me again he is pleading to in front of the mole